is on the IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Yes, yes. I'm on the road today with the sauce, Mr. Pennyboys himself, Lawrence and Cody, how are you? I'm good, thanks, I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks. We're going down the most bumpy road in the world, aren't we, right now? Yeah, no. This is going to hang on. This one is more, one more, for one you. More. Thank you. Yeah, you're in Dagnum, where it all started off. Trust. Um, bring yourself back to the beginning. Yeah. Memories around it? Oh, I remember doing runs around here when I was training up at Dagenham, but you know, my dad also lives here, so I come here quite often to see my dad and my little brother. So yeah, it's all good, it's all good. I haven't got any bad memories of Dagenham, put it that way. Oh, I've lived here 19 years now, so I've got a few. Yeah. Um, you've had a few people calling you out on uh, Twitter. Well, not even calling you out, people just want the, the fight with you. Obviously you are, I wouldn't say the, the, the money fight, but mm. you're a name that they know will get if they thought you it will get on TV. Yeah, I'm a little bit to blame for some of it as well. Sometimes I'm bored at home. Sometimes I see stuff as well that just triggers me off, and uh, I just feel so yeah. Sometimes I can't say oh everyone's calling me out. Sometimes I'm 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 to blame as well. By the end of the day, we're in boxing, and like you know, I've come from an amateur system where it's just you just fight. You don't get to, you don't play this like game of waiting two years and blah blah blah. But you know, I'm learning as we're going along. Um, and uh, I have to be careful even calling everyone out because eventually I'm going to have to start fighting them so you know I have to enjoy these uh, learning fights as they call them while I can but I'm not really fussed really. Any, anyone that I've called out I believe I'll beat now so I don't really care Obviously I think one of the boys was obviously um, Arf Aintbao who just won his English title fight against Wally Camacho Yeah um, I was there it's quite an impressive stoppage to be fair. Yeah. He's got a bit of power. Yeah, have, you, have you seen much of him? Yeah, I've seen I've seen a few couple of fights, a couple of highlights. Uh, and you know, at the end of the day at this weight, everyone has the ability to knock everyone out. Sorry. Uh everyone has the ability to knock everyone out. So it's what is what's this guy doing? So yeah, everyone everyone has the ability to knock everyone out. So having power in the weight class isn't that big a deal. But um is what it is. He seems like the type of person that's got a little bit of bottle about him, which is something that I like in fighters. So, you know, he's he's not someone that seems scared. So, it's a fight I believe I'll win and a fight that I believe he'll take. So, you know, and everyone keeps asking for a step up. Myself, uh, you know, the whole matchroom team want me to go rounds, but it's difficult to find. I don't know, I'm not a matchmaker, but it's difficult to find the balance between someone that's going to give me rounds someone that's going to bat me in my fifth pro fight. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you don't need it's them a, yeah, you know what I mean? So it's a, it's a, it's a fine line. Obviously you see the sort of, um, obviously he, done, he gave a great account of himself, but Charlie Edwards kind of the GB set up and got, not thrown into a world title fight, but two on pretty early in his career. Mm -hmm. um, is that not sort of the road you want to go down? As in having a f title fight in my night fight? Yeah. Uh, probably not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Probably not a world title fight in my night fight. Um, that's why I'm trying to, you know, get through the domestic scene because I believe in the domestic scene if I do what I'm meant to do I'll end up getting experience rounds everyone wants like say you box like foreigners and so on and so forth yeah, yeah. you get the um, thing of they come they get a bit they either feel your boxing ability or your power not just myself you see it all the time and they're like mm, I, could, nah, I don't need this but when you're boxing against other British fighters you know there's that pride on the line ego um, bragging rights so I feel like we're gonna get more fights where like even if it gets to the point where you oh, like you're tired you're, you're being battered you don't want to give in vice versa so those are the sort of fights that in, in my heart of hearts I, I look forward to do you know what I mean but you know um, we'll see after I have a couple of them how I feel about them but right now I look forward to it because those are the type of fights that we watch in the gym that I watch at home we can all watch the technical boxes doing what they do but then I think when you get to this kind of weight class you find out that a lot of people are very technical and they'll be winning a fight for five six rounds and then after a while fitness grit power all of that starts to come in when you're at a lower weight a lot of the time speed skill timing and that are more factors does that make sense but when you get to the heavier weights it just is where it is power matters grit matters and those are all things that, uh, that you can have it all within yourself the mentality so on and so forth but it has to be built into you like through going through the fire over and over again um so we'll see man because one thing i don't want to be is is a buddy fighter and i'm and i'm nervous that that's the sort of 
route that I'm going down at the moment where obviously it's early stages, I'm not going to be boxing more beaters, I'm not stupid and so not, nor are people who really understand boxing but I don't want to end up being that type of boxer that I can just dish out beating after beating as soon as the beat gets put on me, I can't take it so I'm trying to learn, that's why I spar against heavyweights, like big heavyweights, accomplished heavyweights and because um, I, want, I want to feel the power of someone stronger than me, most people my weight aren't as strong as me either physically or punch power wise so that's why I like going in the heavyweights but it is what it is isn't it? It is what it is. Obviously the fight that people like everyone does want to see is obviously you and Isaac but yeah. that's does everyone the, want to see that? Well I think a few more most people do. That's the one that I think in London people want to see it. Yeah you're right. Mm. You're right. It's all big time in London but yeah. outside London people because everyone see what happened was what my little video Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So everyone see that, and then mm. it's sort of spiced up. Whereas everyone else is just words, but people can actually see there's a bit of there's a real bit of heat between you two there. Yeah. Um, Stephen Simmons, that's another one. What yeah. happened there? Um, that one, um, really and truly, it's a horror loss to Josh Taylor, who's Scottish, and I remember just being super emotional that day. Like, I was just like, oh, I want to just, and I could just see all the fans right and stuff, and I was looking like. Oh, like, Steve, like, and then Steve said, and I watched the interview with Steve Simmons on iPhone London talking about like all these guys that keep talking about my lack of experience. Fair enough, I've only had four pro fights, but then like it just feels like they're all of them are mugging me. Like, so I was just like, those all those ingredients together, throw it in there. And then I saw the guy boxing my second fight is not a world beater. I'm not stupid, as you see, when I celebrate, I don't celebrate big mm. because I'm not doing anything massive, I'm just knocking out people in one round who I'm meant to knock out. But you see that the guy, I fought my second fight, that, you know, I got rid of in one round and everyone's like, oh my God, like, he landed a punch and this, that, another. Went six rounds with Stephen Simmons, who's ranked number four in Britain. So not, not, not saying, oh my God, I, I, I've done anything amazing, but you know, I'm in, I'm in a position where I'm going to get completely, everything that I do is going to be scrutinised. You know, you get a lot of supporters, but then at the same time you get people that are just, oh, like, bought someone. But the same guy that I bought stopped on my round, went six rounds after that with a number four ranked boxer, has gone rounds with people like Craig Kennedy, so on and so forth. So anyway, I'm not in that. I'm not into analysing who each other fought. Same way I stopped Russell Henshaw in one round and fighters like Chamberlain, um, Dupree, um, all the people he lost to except for Jack Macy all went like, you know, past four to six rounds of him. I how, took him out of my round. How long have you been looking at his box check for? You know his record better than him. Who? Um, Russ Henshaw? Yeah. I meant to fight him about four times so I'm just keeping up to date as he getting stuck, oh, who's he fighting, yeah, whatever. But also, because um, it's just good to know, like, who's he? Because I like to, like, people just look at, like, people's records, but I look at it deeper, like, so, for example, when I punch him, has he ever has he ever been in with someone who can punch the way that I can punch? Yeah. So I look at the people that they fight, how tall are they, what's their knockout percentages. I'm not, not, do you get where I'm coming from? I don't yeah, know if yeah, that no, makes no, sense. No, get you, get you. So it's like, so I know when I land the first few telling punches, We'll see. Oh shit! But yeah, we'll see. Like, because it's I, I know, because I've been there with some dangerous punches, like Savon, so on and so forth. You know that when you've never experienced something like that, it's a big shock to your system. So I know that it's the power that I deliver is going to be a shock to a lot of people's systems. Because it's one thing to see me on the pads, on the bags, fighting someone else. It's another thing to feel it firsthand, which is um, which is going to be interesting. Do you know what I mean? We can all talk about you know, um, the stuff I've got to work on. But if you just look at me as I am right now, you know what I mean? I, I'm I'm dangerous, but as I keep saying, I don't want to end up being one of these guys who's a dangerous puncher for two, three, four rounds. And then it's just a bully. Do you know what I mean? Because bullies, at the end of the day, what happens to bullies is that as soon as someone hits them back, it's over. So I'm like literally day in, day out, pushing myself in training to be fitter, stronger, and also actively seeking like solid sparring, do you know what I mean? True. Um, sparring wise, who have you been sparring? You're talking about sparring heavyweights. Yeah. Any names in there? Um, obviously everyone knows I spar Joshua. He's not I haven't sparred him in a while, but I mean it's Daniel Dubois, who's like a, he was on the GB team Tampa and I think he's like four and 0 four KOs, um that like good puncher, big strong guy. 
Um, I'm going to spar Huey Fury in the, in the build-up to his fight um, for the world title. Um, there's some other amateurs that I've seen at the Hiring Your Box Cup that I like the look of. That I said, you know, we could get some work in. And also, I'll be going up to the GB team to spar with the um, new 91 kilos. So there's a... Uh, oh yeah, who are they? Because it seems like everyone else has turned over. Yeah, but the new ones are doing well. I mean, we've got an, a European silver medalist and a European bronze medalist um, in Chevron Clark and um, Scott Forrest. So that's going to be some good work up there. So all round, I'm looking for good, good, good sparring. People who are going to push me physically, mentally. Because obviously, having fights and that, it's, it's all exciting. Um, but for me, the learning is done in the gym. The only thing that I learn at the moment on fight day are how to handle the pressure. Because people don't realise that there's a lot of pressure. When you've got people like Andy Joshua supporting you, um, Eddie Hunt supporting you, people who like can look at it as, oh, look, you've got all this power, but it comes with a lot of pressure. When you're just a small hall fighter, or you're, you know, just, like just boxing or whatever, you don't have, you, you have the same pressures of performing on fight day, but it's not as amplified. You're not under a microscope, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I as, I, as I as I said with. But are you glad at the same time that you're under that microscope? One hundred percent. I mean, I'm the type of person that enjoys it. Um, as you can see, but it is a pressure nonetheless. I'm there in the back room. Joshua comes in. I soak it up. I love it. But it is a pressure, whether we like it or not. And. Um, I think my personality is just it's a sad personality. I just take everything in my stride. Like I don't really, I don't really um, care. I don't know how to explain it. So my first fight, I boxed after the main event. Didn't phase me. Second fight, um, I boxed in Glasgow. Didn't phase me. Third fight, boxed in front of tens of thousands of people in the stadium against someone who I, I was an unknown quantity. Two fights, two heels. Didn't phase me. Boxed. I was meant to box in front of 90,000. I was buzzing for it. Didn't happen. And then boxing at the Ultra Arena. And the Ultra Arena was somewhere where I was a little bit nervous because it's somewhere that I have dreams of obviously headlining one day as I'm a London fighter. So I wanted it to get off to a winning start and a good winning start. Um, but you know, like, yeah, like I said, boxing is not that. <laughs> boxing is just boxing. Just, as we say, train hard and then do what you're meant to do. But a lot of people can't handle the pressures, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I think I'm doing all right so far. Um.